South Carolina is on to the Final Four. The number one Gamecocks outlast number three seed Oregon State, 70-58. And ice. the game was actually tight for a while, but then in the second half, South Carolina pulls away. And, and to me, what stands out, they keep finding ways to win. They got 38 points off the bench. Remember, yeah. last, last time we were talking about the interior play of Oregon State. Well, South Carolina out-rebounded them 51 to 37, including 22 offensive rebounds. They combined for 28 second chance points, and they took 23 more shots in the game than Oregon State. Talk about creating extra possessions. The Beavers are in a small team. How how does South Carolina pull this off? Yeah, it's truly tremendous what they do in terms of their just a relentless rebounding mindset I really think it's the mindset and mentality that you know a player like Ashlyn Watkins she expects the shot to be missed every time she's going to pursue the basketball Camila Cardoso pursuing the basketball it just was in company really rebounded for them and then 22 offensive boards there are teams that don't rebound 22 times in the entire game let alone on just one side of the basketball but I thought just like you said getting extra possessions getting extra shots I mean that's what you want this time of year when you've got 20 extra shots from the next team and then you're South Carolina and you're getting high percentage looks as well it's a recipe for success and I think the Beavers fought as much as they could but South Carolina was just too overpowering on the boards today it wasn't about star players or the starting five you know having a dominant game it was just their overall team where them down um mm. south carolina they make it to a four, a final four again and undefeated again deja vu this is how they entered last season but they fell short so mm. why might it be a different outcome how can they overcome and make their way to a championship undefeated this time around yeah i'm gonna say it's a balanced scoring attack and the depth for south carolina just we earlier in this in this tournament we talked about 51 points off the bench that they had versus UNC. You talk about Tessa Johnson today, a player, a freshman for them that played critical minutes for Dawn Staley in the tournament. She led them in scoring with 15 points. So I think it's the depth that is different. They're deeper than a South Carolina team we've seen. But then also under Coach Dawn Staley, she's got shooters now. We are, she was old school and throwing the ball into the post every time. And she still does. But now when the ball is kicked back out, we have shooters on the perimeter that can knock down outside shots. They just have a very good balanced scoring attack. And I think it's key for their main perimeter guards to continue to knock down shots. Tahina Pow-Pow, Valasia Fawiley, Tessa Johnson, Bree Hall, and company. They have so many ways to beat you. Inside, outside, starters, off the bench. They can grind it out with you. They can battle and be physical on the glass. A lot of credit has to go to Dawn Staley. Remember, coming into this season, people actually call this a rebuilding year for South Carolina. And somehow, they're still here, on to the Final Four, undefeated again. And South Carolina, in dominant fashion, advances to the Final Four for the fourth straight season.